Hi YouTube, um, how are you? I pray your day is blessed. Um, I just wanted to put this word out there because, well words I should say, um, I woke up on 722, it must have been like 3, somewhere around 3 in the morning, and it was around there somewhere, I believe, I don't want to say, and I'm, a, I'm pretty sure, and uh, I got these five words in my spirit. I, I, they were clear. They were coming to me very clear. They were certainly from God. And I laid down and I was like, I was just going to let him go. I was like, going to try to remember them. I'll be like, I was like, Lord, I'll remember these. And he said, no, get up and put these into your phone or write them down right now. <laughs> so three in the morning, I'm shuffling around and I wrote these down. And, um, good thing because who knows the Lord knows I probably wouldn't have remembered them. So, Oh, right now I'm just going to say a quick prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord God, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. You deserve all the honor, glory, and praise all the time. Lord, just keep us vigilant in these last days. Lord, keep us strong in this last hour with your strength, Lord God. Help us to die to this flesh and follow you every single day, every single moment, Lord God. Keep us in the spirit, Lord God. I just pray that your, your Holy Spirit fill us all, Lord. Fill us all. Fill us to overflowing, Lord God. Let us not come out of this, this spirit, Lord. Let, let us walk in the spirit, Lord. We just want to be in your spirit. We don't want to walk in this flesh, Lord. And if we do, please turn us from it. Turn us. Convict our hearts and correct us in our thinking, Lord. Help us to die to the things of this world, Lord. Just turn us away from our sin and change us, Lord God. Lord, let these words be yours, Lord. You directed me and guided me to all of this, Lord God. But let it be all you, Lord, and none of me. I just remove myself from this, Lord. Holy Spirit, take over my voice and my mouth. Let everything be of you. We just praise you and we honor you. We love you, Jesus. Praise you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So I got these words and they were trickery, torment, trust, trump, truth. So in that order, it was trickery, torment, trust, trump, truth. And I kept saying it over and I'm like, trickery, torment, trust, trump, trump. And I was like, what is that? what is that? So I'm like, I don't know. I wrote them down. I kind of just, I thought about them. I always do when I wake up and I hear things or in my spirit, or I know it's from the Lord. I, you can't help but go over it in your mind because when he gives you something, a word or a dream, it's amazing. It's amazing because the almighty creator is speaking to me or you or whoever. And that's amazing. That's amazing because he doesn't have to, but he's awesome like that. He's a good father. So I, uh, I didn't know what to think of it. You know, I was like, I wasn't getting any revelation on it. I just wasn't. I was like, what? I don't know what this means. Like, I'm trying to put it together with my own mind, with my own understanding. And, you know, the Lord was just holding back from me. So something in my spirit told me to ask my cousin, Larry. I don't know. He just, the Lord put it on my heart to ask him. And I had a feeling that, that the revelation was going to come from him because he asked, he asked me to ask him. So why else would he ask me that? So I messengered him and I was like, I got this in my spirit. What do you think it means? And at first he was like, I don't know. You know, they all start with T, <laughs> which, which they did, but that didn't come from the Lord. <laughs> but, um, like a couple minutes later, he gives me this. He said, do you think it means this? Everything, everyone is going to be tricked into a life of torment. And then they're going to trust the ones who did it to them and not believe the truth absolutely straight from God. So he said, everyone is going to be tricked into a life of torment. And then they're going to trust the ones who did it to them and not believe the truth. And we see it happening all around us right now, all around us with this abomination, this V, whatever you want to call it, the jab sting, whatever. So that's what's happening. People are putting their trust in that. They're not listening to the truth. And that's terrible. So I just went into a little more. I decided, okay, I'm going to break these words up a couple of them, which is trickery, which trickery is, you know, cleverness, craftiness, stops at nothing to achieve a selfish goal. That I looked it up in the, uh, the Greek, in the lexicon, and that's what it said. Cleverness, craftiness, stops at nothing to achieve a selfish goal. So, and then I went into torment, which means to torture. So it, People are going to be tortured out of the selfish goal of something evil, I believe. And then um, it brought me to 
let me see, three, Revelation 9, 5. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. So I looked up scorpion in the Greek, which was Scorpios, meaning to pierce, to pierce. What else is piercing people right now? It's just like people are getting tricked into this and they're, they're believing it's not the abomination. They're believing that this isn't the mark, this job. And it is, it is. The Lord keeps confirming this over and over. So then I went to this scripture, which is Revelation 9. And I had the Lord lead me through this. I didn't even know where to go. And this is what I got. Revelation 9, 3 through 6. Then out of the smoke... Locusts came upon the earth, and to them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They were commanded not to harm the grass of the earth, or any green thing, or any tree, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment, torment them for five months. Their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days men will seek death and not find it. They will desire to die, and death will flee from them. This, I mean, what else strikes you? It pierces you. You see many people getting tormented by this already. They're dropping dead. They're going through. Are there, some of them aren't. Some of them are just suffering with these crazy side effects. And it's terrible. So then the Lord led me to this. Cursed is the one who trusts in man, who depends on flesh for his strength, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. So anyone who's... He's trusting in man, this person. He's trusting in man instead of the Lord. And those people that think you can't be in Christ and accept the mark, he says, and whose heart turns away from the Lord, which means their heart was with the Lord. So some of these, a lot of people, a lot of those once saved, always saved people. And I don't mean to, that. that's a doctrine of devils. That is a lie from hell. You are not once saved, always saved. That is not true. We have to work, have righteous works. We have to. They are expected. The Lord, we're not saved by them. We're saved by grace through faith. But after we're saved, you better have some good works. It's the Holy Spirit that works those good works in you. If you aren't working good works, and if you aren't turning from your sin, and if you aren't living in holiness, then is the Holy Spirit in you? I doubt it. I doubt it. So, and then after that it says, but blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. So it's all about trusting in God right now. He's seeing, I mean, I believe he is, sorry, but who is trusting him? He's separating the wolves from the sheep, the wheat from the tares, and who trusts in God? And who's going to run to man for an answer to something that's so silly, a virus, when nothing ever happens unless the almighty approves of it the devil can't do nothing to us he can't make you sick nothing can happen unless unless the lord himself says okay i'm allowing it so why is why is anybody if you trust in jesus christ and you know that why are you fearing a virus you if you get sick and the lord allowed you to get sick then it's he'll use it for your own good and there's a reason stop trying to trump him stop trying to trump god so, I don't know. It's just, this is the message I got. That was a revelation. Once again, I'm going to read it. Everyone is going to be tricked into a life of torment. And then they're going to trust the ones who did it to them and not believe the truth. Don't be one of those people that are getting tricked. Most people are. It's so sad. So, I just pray that nobody will trick you. Don't take this. Don't take this. Because it is the abomination that will leave you desolate. It will. So, I just pray that you take heed to this message, Lord, that you'll convict it and alarm anyone that might need it. We all do. Just help us, Father. And I praise, I praise you, God. I thank you, and God bless you. I love you.